Arc 2 log, entry 1481. We are searching for a once rich community, which squandered its natural resources and is now in trouble. It is located in a valley on the edge of a land known as the Forbidden Zone. The people of the valley are now faced with a serious shortage of food and water. They've taken desperate measures to deal with this. Our mission is to find out what those measures are and to render what aid we can. God, what awful country. I've never seen anything so dry. It makes me thirsty just to look at it. Adam, where's that milk I asked you for? Here it is. Just a second, Adam. Jonah, come look at this. Where are they going? There's nothing out there. It looks like they have no choice. Sure. No, I think we found the forbidden zone. I just saw a couple of people disappear into thin air. See if you can get a fix on what cost it. Night, Skipper. We're flying. What sort of creature are you? A man like yourself. Men can't fly. Man can do anything he sets his mind to do. I'm a cane, lizard of the valley. Who are you? Let's just say I'm a passing stranger. Why were you chasing the boy? He, he, he's a thief. And don't interfere. He broke the law. He must answer for it. What will happen to him? He's got to face the lottery like the rest. I'll be chosen. Oh, wait a minute. What did he steal? Water! Why did you venture the lottery? I didn't think. But if he finds out... Be quiet. If he finds out, we'll have to deal with him. Strangers, do you have water? Please, water, food, water, anything. Please, water. Water, No, no, wait, wait, listen. We'll give you what we can spare. Adam, we need more water. I'll get the food concentrate, come on. Sorry, that's all we 
get out. I thought you'd be in prison. <laughs> Why lock me up? Where could I go? Come on inside. I want to know about this. Listen to this. It's coming from the Forbidden Zone. The place where you saw those people disappear. Can't figure it out. I'm hoping Stephen will be able to help us. All we know is that people walk out there and never come back. We don't know where they go. I found out this much. There used to be an important lab here. A lab that did research on time and space. Maybe the experiments they did have something to do with this. But why would anybody want to walk out there anyway? They have to if they're chosen. Chosen? Kane says it's the only way to save the valley when we have too many people. How long has this been going on? Only a short time. This used to be rich, productive land. Now... They thought it would all last forever. It's hard for people to realize that the natural resources they take for granted can come to an end. Our sensors show there's water out there somewhere. Why doesn't anybody go out and look for it? Kane says searching around would just waste water. I was trying when he caught me, but it's against the law. Whose law? Kane's law. Ruth! Ruth! What's going to happen to you now? What's with Adam? He says, don't look now, but we've got a visitor. Can we help you? Come on, Steve, it's time. Then a time for what? Oh, you strangers. You don't know our ways. When there are too many people in our valley for the amount of food and water we have, we must go to the hill to choose those who will be sent to the Forbidden Zone. What's on the hill? The lottery. Steam builds up and is suddenly released. So then it's really a random selection, huh? Yes. The fates are kind to Cain. Somehow, anyone who breaks his laws is chosen. I'm always suspicious when the fates are too kind to one person. Come on, come on, let's go! Let me go out in the desert! Got something, Sammy? Have I? You'll never believe it. Come to think of it, I'm not sure I believe it myself. Now I'll zero in on the Forbidden Zone. How are we going to get out of here? Help us, please. Why? Remember I told you about that old lab that used to be here? Well, their experiments caused a space warp out there. The people that were sent into the Forbidden Zone are caught in it. They're in another dimension. They seem to be all right. You know... If we could hook up the X-32 antenna with a red laser, we might be able to polarize that field and bring those people back. Two great minds with but a single thought. We cannot let it happen to bring our enemies back. 
But we're gonna need a lot of power. Do we have enough recycled water to cool the energizer? I hope so. I turned off everything, including the air conditioning. Good, let's get started. I rigged up the special receiver, but I'll have to take it into the other dimension. Oh, no. That's my job. Got a coin? We'll flip for it. Correction. We'll draw for it. There are three of us here, you know. Mm. Wait a minute. It could get pretty hairy in there, you know? So? So our equipment is water-cooled, and we don't have much water left. I figure we'll have about 12 minutes before the heat buildup blows the works. So? If that happens, we won't be able to get you out of there. Samuel, we're all partners, so we all share the risks. She's right, Samuel. Ooh. Draw. Now I guess I'll see what the Forbidden Zone's all about. Doing here. I'm going with you. Shouldn't we stop her? Oh, why bother? Doesn't make any difference. Without water, they won't be able to get her back. Okay, we're all set. Ruth, do you feel anything yet? Not a thing. I don't... I... She's gone! Can you read me? Jonah, Samuel, can you read me? We read you. Am I glad? This is weird. I can't describe it. I can't tell you where I am. We're ready here. Activate the receiver. Receiver activated. Now get us out of here. Now, Sam. You got it. There'll be enough power to send the laser beam punching right into that dimensional field at mark 150. Samuel, we need more power. What's going on? What's the matter? We've got a little problem, Ruth. Just hang on. Is everything okay? Yes, don't worry. Someone's drained off all our water. Without water to cool our equipment, we'll never be able to get Ruth back. We can find some with the sensors, but it'll take hours if we don't know the direction. Jonah, look what they used. So that's how they rigged the lottery. Whenever they wanted someone chosen, they just sent up a puff of steam. All right, but what about Ruth? Jonah, we need water. I know. Adam, go get a couple of containers. I think I know where to find water now. Two 
two guys took off after you. That's what I expected. Jonah, we don't have much time to get Ruth back. I know, Samuel. Just take it easy. Jonah, you sure you know where you're going? Of course I do. Now, just think for a second. Uh, why did Borg and Kane chase Steven out on the desert? Why didn't they just let him go out there and get lost? I'll bite. Why? Because he was heading for something they didn't want him to find. Water. What if he finds out? Uh, if he doesn't, it won't do him any good. Jonah, I don't want to push you, but I'm barely holding the equipment together. You got anything? Bingo! Our sensor's just locked in on a water source. Okay, Adam, take her away. Found it, Adam. Home in on me and fast. I'm trying to punch up this beam, Ruth. We've got 30 seconds. We loaded up the cooler with water, Samuel. Go! Come on, baby. Go for 150. Now, the best is yet to come. Come on. There was water out here all the time. <laughs> Kane didn't want anybody to find it. He wanted to keep it all for himself. Let's put them in the forbidden zone! No, wait! Wait a minute! It's not only Kane's fault, you're all guilty. How can you say that? You all should have seen this coming and explored, as Stephen tried to do. You should have planned instead of doing nothing. That's right. And now they're punishing us because we're trying to do something about it. No, because you didn't share. Even though they wasted water, you had the responsibility to share what you'd found. You've all been lucky this time, very lucky. Stephen, you and some of the others go push over that rock. Arc 2 log, entry 14-1. 
1962. This valley found one solution to the problem of squandering natural resources. They know now to seek beyond their own boundaries for the answers they need. But the real problem of too many people and not enough food and water can only be permanently solved by careful, far-sighted planning so our limited resources are not squandered.